Welcome to Monster Tutorials. I am Eduardo Talbert. Today we are making rotten pumpkins like these. So hold on, lights. All right. In today's video, we're going to make pumpkins that look like they are rotten and they are really, really awesome. This one has a light in it, as you can see. And we're going to do two kinds dollar store pumpkins, which is which are these four right here and then fancy craft store pumpkins, which are these two. So let's get started with this. For this tutorial, we are going to use uh, fake pumpkins. For this effect to work, try to find pumpkins that are not hollow. So this guy, right, this is from Joann's or from Michael's or any other craft store. This will work. This thing is solid foam and it has a skin on the outside which helps a lot because that skin will wrinkle to give it that rotten look. So I got two of them. Yeah, There's links to this below, but these are more expensive uh, than regular pumpkins. This one was $6, that size, and this one was $13, okay? So the other alternative for this project is your dollar store pumpkin, right? Uh, that's obviously a dollar at the dollar store. Or there's a link below. I'm not sure if there's still a dollar on the internet, but there's a link to this. Like I said, they should be solid on the inside and not hollow. These are hollow, but they're styrofoam or expanded styrene, which is okay. Do not use this kind right here. Okay, these are hollow and they're like a really dense, like rubber foam, and that's pretty nasty. It's not gonna melt like it's supposed to. Don't use this either. Okay, right, the first step with this is to find the side that you want, right, that you like, and then draw the face like you want it. And uh, draw the eyes and the mouth just slightly smaller than you want it, because when we melt it, it's going to open up a bit. For the dollar store pumpkins, we're also going to use some uh, shrink wrap just to give it a little skin, and that helps a bit. It makes it closer to these guys that have this nice thick skin on them. Let's start with this big one. I'm gonna make a face like the one from uh, Sleepy Hollow, I think. There's the face. Okay. We'll do the same for this. Find a cool spot where you want the face and then just draw the face. This one will have a round nose, round eyes. And just do the same with all of them. A more traditional jack-o'-lantern there. And last but not least, something with a huge wicked smile and mean eyes. Right, we're done with these, let's carve them. We're going to use just a regular knife and carve the pumpkins. This solid one, so all you need to do is cut deep enough where we can just flake off the, the foam when you're done. Now just take the where you carved and start flaking off that foam. Okay, it's like a nice thick foam. Don't go too deep because this is what's going to look like rotten flesh. Like that's deep enough. Now we'll do it all around on this pumpkin and on this one. That's the skin I'm talking about. Let's do the rest. For the dollar store pumpkins that are hollow, it's, uh, it's easier, but it's basically the same concept. The only thing is that the blade's gonna go straight through because they are hollow. So make sure that you get the pieces of foam out. It will get stuck inside if you push it.
after it's hollow. There you go. Doesn't matter if that's perfectly clean in there because it'll look like more rotten flesh. I'm gonna do this one and we're done with these. All right, all these guys are carved. For the dollar store ones, we have one extra step. And that is I'm going to wrap them with shrink wrap. That way they get the skin on them. I put the shrink wrap right here and I'm going to put it, put the pumpkin on there and just wrap the pumpkin with the shrink wrap. And tie, it, tie it right here on the bottom and tie it on the top right where the stem goes. Set it aside, let's do the other one. Okay, for this next step I cannot stress enough how important the safety part is. We're going to go outside in the garage where you have plenty of uh, air movement because we're going to be using the heat gun and we're going to be melting this and the fumes are nasty. If you smell the fumes, it is hurting you. So go outside, uh, if you, just don't do it indoors unless you have like some ventilation system or and a mask to wear. So I'm gonna go to the garage now and I'll show you how we do these things. For this step we're going to use the heat gun and we're going to do the dollar store one first. First thing I'm going to do is heat up the bottom here so we can seal it. That is sealed. Now we're going to start shrinking the wrap all around the pumpkin. Now to make things super easy I took this bamboo skewer and now I'm going to stick it right on the bottom of the pumpkin that way you can hold it and turn it. We're going to start melting the foam around the eyes, nose and mouth. I'll start melting the edges of the mouth and eyes. Right, set that aside. I'm gonna do the same with this guy. For this guy, the technique is a little bit different. We're going to do the same with the heat gun, but we're going to use gloves. That way we can hold a pumpkin and the foam under the skin is going to shrink, but not the skin. And we'll use our hands to wrinkle the skin to make it look double rotten. Now we're going to heat up the pumpkin and then we're just going to wrinkle it up with our fingers. Yeah, rotten texture. Look at that beautiful rotten texture there. All right, let's do that all around. And finally, this little guy. So we're going to do the same thing. This guy is done. For this next step, I'm using a black spray paint, doesn't matter what kind. Some paper towels, gloves. And all we're going to do is, we're going to spray everywhere we carved as a first step. 
This is a spray paint, as you can tell, and it has a solvent in it which keeps the paint nice and thin to go through that tiny little hole. Well, that solvent will also dissolve this foam. So you'll get an additional creepy effect going on when the solvent hits that. So just spray the holes like that. I'll take your uh, paper towel, just wipe the excess. And that part is done. As you can see, the foam now that the solvent is eating is starting to look like stringy, rotten flesh. So we're going to do that everywhere we carved. Additionally, I'm going to spray it all over the pumpkin, just uh, randomly and wiping it off. So it gets that moldy look on the outside too. And don't let it sit too long because you'll end up with a black pumpkin. Grab your paper towels and start wiping it off the excess. All right, that looks great. Let's set that aside and do the same thing to the other ones. Let's try the dollar store one. This one's gonna need more black because the color is so orange. The face changes almost immediately, see that? Look at that. All right, spray it all around and wipe it off. This will get caught in all the nooks and crannies of the shrink wrap too. Now it looks like rotting flesh, see that? All right, let's do that all around. That looks fantastic there. Maybe a little more inside. Get the inside as dark as you can. So it looks like rotten flesh. All right, let's do the big one. That's a beauty right there. All right, let's do all around and I'll do the same to the last pumpkin. Awesome, now set that to dry. Let those guys dry. Well, check out all these rotten pumpkins. Now, you can leave them like this if you want. That looks pretty cool, I think. Right? But this is muscle tutorial, so we gotta take it up a notch. So I have some green paint here and some white paint, and we're going to uh, paint some mold on these guys so they look like this dude right here. All right? So that. It's the same technique as those, but it also has some mold growing on it. White paint and green paint. Uh, you should be able to find these for like a dollar uh, at Walmart and some other store like that. If you don't, there's a link below for these. The other thing I'm going to use is this foam brush, but I don't like that pointy end. So I'm going to just lop it off. All right, so we're going to use that flat area. The way the mold grows is that a spore will land on the rotten pumpkin and it starts as a dot and it starts growing, growing, and there'll be other dots and other spores and they start growing. So we're going to do the same. We're going to start very lightly uh, having the mold grow in, with paint, basically. Are oh, you crazy cat? 
and uh, we're going to decide how much or how little mold you want. So let's do that. So we're going to take the pumpkin, we're going to take a little bit of white, and just dry your brush all the way until there's absolutely nothing left there. And then very lightly start tapping your pumpkin in the areas that you think mold will be growing. And as you can see, it starts looking like little dots, like little spores of mold. Here, less is more. And make sure to dab it. If you rub it, it won't look like natural mold. Then once you have the white, you're going to take a little bit of the green and do the same, get rid of all of it and then just dab the green on there and make all your moldy parts. That works really well, especially with the dollar pumpkins because you're going to have some really bright orange areas. So those areas, just knock them down with a little bit of mold and it doesn't look as orange and as bright anymore. So let's do that all around. And remember, less is more, so it's more like an accent. You have black paint and green paint and white paint. So you have black mold, you know, like poisonous mold, because it's supposed to be all creepy, and green mold and white mold and all kinds of mold. I'm going to do this to all of our pumpkins, even the expensive ones from Joann's. I'm going to put mold all around them, especially on the edges, the parts that are too dark, just lighten them up with a little bit of mold and it will look fantastic. Think of this as dry dabbing. So the mold always grows on the top of the surface. So we're just hitting the top without going deep into the creases. And it brings out all that texture that we worked on. This is looking great. All right, these guys are looking awesome. So the one thing you can do with the dollar store ones that you can't with these is, uh, where is it? Here you go. Buy one of these for a dollar at the dollar store. And make a hole in the bottom. We're gonna slide it in and make it like a jack-o'-lantern that actually glows. I'm just gonna mark the circle here. And I'm gonna cut it out. There you go. This has a little thing right there. Let's see if it works. It works. Slide it in. And you have yourself a glowing rotten jack-o'-lantern. Let's go look at all of them to see how they turned out. All right, and that's how you make a That's how you make rotten pumpkins. So if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now because that's all we do in this channel. Really cool and creepy stuff. I'm Eduardo Talbert. I will see you next time.